Hello y'all, it's Fallon here today, also known as Alpha Female, and wouldn't you know it, the channel's had another, <laughs> another update to what it looks like. Uh, if you look at the channel, it used to look like this. I just realized I didn't take a screenshot of what it used to look like. So it used to have, this is the profile picture, and now look at it, it's this. Isn't that fancy? <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's once again changed. Uh, and no, this is not another, oh, well, look, I'm back, I took a long break, and now I'm back, gonna upload some more, and then never upload again, um, cause that's, that's gonna become the trademark of my channel, it's just every other video is going to be a, hey, I took a break, I'm back, look at what's changed, look what I'm doing different, I'm back. <laughs> uh, no, that is not what this is going to be, this is actually going over some notes I'm taking on a story I'm writing. Uh, in a previous video I believe I said that I was going to be posting some of these, sharing some story ideas. I believe it was actually in the last video I said uh, that I wasn't- oh look I took a shorter break but now I'm back and then I took another break. <laughs> uh, I believe it was in that one that I said that I would be doing this, and I'm actually going to be doing this. So, uh, if you are related to me, I would prefer if you would skip this video just because I'm having you guys read over the story as I'm writing it, and if you listen to these, you'll understand the world more, and I want that to be more portrayed through the story than through these note videos. So if you are related to me, I'm staring at you, my little brother, and you, my uncle, uh, to skip this video or I will come attack you at work or in your bedroom. The work one was my uncle, bedroom was- <laughs> Well, now I hope you guys know your ABCs. Uh, let's go somewhere else. Okay. Uh, Uncle, I'll attack you while we're both at work. Little brother, I will come for you in your room and attack you viciously. <laughs> um, anywho, to those of you who are not related to me, welcome. Uh, Yes, I am more normally this aggressive. It is fine. It's normal. <laughs> um, so, yeah. A little backstory. Uh, this is a speed paint of Phelan. Uh She is one of the main characters in this story. Um, you'll learn more... You'll learn a lot... Blah, 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 sorry. <laughs> You'll learn a lot more about Phelan and a few other characters like Skender and Eva and uh, Evanora and all these different characters as we delve more into these note-taking videos and like, it's not really notes but it's also notes at the same time. It's more historical guides. Uh, like, you know how you, in Skyrim, you can find the history, uh, history of the Empire, uh, book three, book five, and all that stuff. This is basically what that is, uh, only it's the history of the five planes, and that's what the story is called. It's called the five planes, uh, because there are five planes. Uh, there's not, like, a world sort of thing, it's more, like, <laughs> the name suggests five planes. Um, think of, like in D&D, how there's the Celestial Plane, the Nine Gates of Hell, those sorts of things, only there's only five of them, and they don't refer to the world as the world, but plane. Um, so, yeah, let's actually just get into the notes now. Fair warning, I'm really bad at reading, so if it kind of sounds just monotone or really different than how I normally talk. That's why is because I'm actually reading from handwritten notes and trying to remember why I can't spell anything. <laughs> so now let's get into it. There are five levels to this plane of existence. Two of them are considered holy, 
one of them is considered the normal life, and the last two are perceived differently by everyone. Maritha is the highest and holiest level of the five, considered to be the plane of the gods. There, the deities reside. Nehemia is the second level, just beneath Maritha. This plane, while held to a high standard, is an oddity to most. There is no actual proof of this plane, other than spoken by the deities themselves. What we know of Nehemia is small, that those who have become a part of this plane return to Evanorsia, becoming that close to holy warriors, keeping the balance between the three major planes, Maritha, Evanorsia, and Ignusia. There has been no real proof of these beings existing, other than from the deities. Evanorsia is the middle of the planes amongst all of them. Here all the beings of existence reside. Communities, towns, and cities are built here, everyone belonging to their own homelands and cultures. Those who live here are the normal lot, living lives and eventually dying. The middle ground is one of the odd planes, only being known and spoken of by the divines, spoken to mortals almost as a warning or threat. The middle ground has <laughs> the middle ground has gone by many names, referred to differently based on who you speak with but no true name has been given to this limbo-like plane. All the mortals have gathered from the vague words of the divines is that it's multiple small chunks of floating land, distant so far apart that from one island it would seem you're the only one there, suspended from the sky with a vast purple jacaranda tree, placed at the center of the small land, giving it the illusion of never-ending. This plane was created for those who belong in limbo, they die from unknown or unforeseen events, where their bodies disappear into thin air, no matter if it's in front of millions or no one. Their body is just gone. It's also seen as a sort of prison those from Nehemia would send live people to, to fix some sort of balance or prevent some world-ending event. When people disappear into thin air, nothing pointing to anything, no proof of death or disappearance, or even murder, running away, or anything of the likes, the pr person is considered sentenced to the middle ground. Ignisiel is the final and lowest plane. Ignisiel is considered to be a burning hellscape, where those killed or sacrificed in a certain way, or chosen, go. This plane is nothing but filled with hatred, anger, death, and overwhelming power. Those who are damned to this plane receive inhuman strength and abilities becoming the opposite of those in Nehemia, who search to keep the balance between the three planes. Those from Ignazil search to destroy that balance, to watch Evanorsia burn to ashes and revel in the crumbling of Marithia, as they become the only divines that rule with an iron fist. Unlike with the other planes, this one is sought after by few, believing that they can hold the power of this plane. Unlike other planes, this one can be reached by the people of Evanorsia, though, though the one known portal has been sealed and is guarded. As years passed, the location of the portal has been forgotten by all but this tribe, who intend to keep it sealed. I feel like I skipped something there, so I'm going to explain better than what Fallon's brain was like. Yes, this, correct. Uh, so, Ignazil has one portal into it from Evanorsia, which is basically like Earth, but it's not a world or a, an Earth a planet, it's a plane. Uh, and so there is one known portal that can get you in and get you out of Ignazil, but there is this one tribe who has intended to keep this thing sealed and has done so for years and years and years. Uh, so those are the five planes uh, that are mentioned in the five planes story. <laughs> um, and this information is actually really important just to the story itself just because, you know, it's kind of the main storyline. <laughs> uh, to get into more detail, of the divines and all that stuff. Here, here's that. <laughs> I really don't know how to do transitions, so yeah. Mirtha, also, 
<laughs> I forget how I wrote it to be pronounced. I'm pretty sure it's Maritha, but I, I probably say it wrong multiple times, so... Yeah. <laughs> Maritha. The plane of the gods is unreachable by normal means by the mortals of Evanorcia, and untouchable by the damned of Ignazil. There is only one goddess that is able to leave Maritha at, by will, Evanora, a goddess who acts as the mouthpiece between the mortals of Evanorcia and the deities of Maritha. Evanora is the goddess of life, peace, empathy, and mankind, being at the head of the deities in Maritha. She, and those she selects, can move between all five of the planes. Without Evanora, the easy movement between the planes is gone. The deities can't leave Maritha without her, and those who are from Nehemia, Nehema can't return to their plane. Stuck inside of Evanorcia, only able to move from one plane to the next through mortal means. Evanora is the leader, or most powerful deity in Maritha, as of late. Below Evanora, there are three other known deities. Sloan, Slain, nope, Sloan, Sloan, the goddess of war, fighting, and honor. Matthias, the god of growth, knowledge, and wisdom. And Arn, the deity of magic, light, and darkness. Other than Evanora, these other gods have little to no contact with Evanorcia. Other than Evanora. Other than Evanora, that is the only way for them to get there. They viewed no need unless extreme for them to walk among the mortals. They viewed themselves as better than the mortals, stronger, smarter, and more in control than the mere weak, dumb, or relentless mortals. And most mortals only saw them as these things, blaming one for violence, reaching for another for unearthly knowledge, and looking to the other for ultimate control. These mortals, while there are only a few handful, there were more that viewed them as powerful deities, worshipping the ground they tread on, while nice was redundant, and redundancy that these three did not appreciate. Evanora, on the other hand, she didn't receive the same praise the other gods did. She's the goddess of life, peace, empathy, and mankind, and, a, and an immortal that chose to walk with these mortals. The people treated her more like a mouthpiece between the mortals of Evanorcia and the powerful, almighty deities of Maritha, treating her as one of them, viewing her as less powerful with what she controlled and her presence there. Evanora is the is the most powerful. Evanora is the most powerful deity that currently resides in Maritha. She is the goddess of life, peace, empathy, and mankind. Whenever she appears out of nowhere in Evanorcia, a purple Jericonda tree appears within that place, people believing she travels between the purple flowered tree. Sloane is also powerful. Sloane is also as powerful as the other two deities below Evanora, as she also resides within Maritha. She is the goddess of war, fighting, and honor. Whenever she appears, on the rare occasion, a bloody longsword is pierced into the ground, which she fit phase ends shortly after its appearance and pulls the sword out of the ground. When she leaves, she stabs the sword into the ground once more, the cloud and the clouds part, an ethereal holy light casting down on her as both her bot bloody weapon, both her and her bloody weapon disperse. Sloane has only appeared three times since the deities have made themselves known. The only time she's appeared is amidst a bloody battlefield where full-on wars are happening. She appears in the middle of the battlefield, no markings claiming which side she is on, but attacks only one side, guaranteeing their loss. Oh, how did I say your name? Matthias? Matthias. Matthias is another one of the deep. Matthias is another one of the gods that dwell in Miritha. He is the god of growth, wisdom, and knowledge. When he appears, there is a period of time in between his appearance and a lot of preparation. Over three days, a circle of warped purple mushrooms begin to grow, and on the third day, once nightfall happens, the purple mushrooms begin to let out a purple glow. He'll finally appear in a cluster of butterflies in the middle of the circle at the dawn of the fourth day, 
When he leaves, he returns to the to a new or old mushroom circle, steps in the middle, and explodes into a giant cluster of butterflies. He has appeared only eleven times in Avanorcia, each time having been over some alliance between kingdoms or rising of a new land or kingdom, assisting and directing how it should be done, and leaving once his presence is no longer needed or when those he advises stops listening to his knowledge and wisdom. Arn is the final deity that lives in Muritha. Muritha. They are the deity of magic, light, and darkness. When they appear in Evanorcia, they always appear within a library. A single book will fall off a bookshelf. The book will always explore the thoughts of magic, the doubts behind it, how magic can easily be explained away. The pages will flutter around, turning this way and that, before slamming into the center, where Arn will step out of the book, picking it up through flip through the book before walking up to the front desk, placing the book down on the counter, and with a smile, let them know that the deity, that they are the deity of magic, that this book isn't right, and that this book isn't right. When they leave, they would return to the same library, look for the same book, claim that if they weren't the deity of magic, they suppose they'd also be skeptic, but unfortunately, they're not. They'd open the book to the middle, read some before poofing into thin air, the book falling to the ground, and the book falling to the ground. Out of the other two gods, Arn has visited Evanorcia the most, somewhere between 40s and 50s, teaching those they thought would benefit from knowing magics, though eventually the plane of Evanorcia became greedy for power, demanding the abilities Arn possessed, and searching for magics of darker nature, searching for control over the natures, people, or anything. They wanted the powers to control both light and darkness with just the flick of their wrist, and so Arn left the plane permanently, their last words to the mortals being, those who seek control of all will fall to those who naturally have it. They never did know if it, it they never did know they never did know if it was a threat that they'd return and rule over them, or a warning to those around them. Miritha is a huge plain, a giant castle-like building aglow in white that could never fade or break. The castle towers over all, and is much bigger than for four gods, and that's because there were once twelve of them in total. There were three powerful gods of Maritha alongside of Anora, who were leaders of sorts to the others. There was Dresden, the god of power, revenge, death, and blood. He believed they were foolish for letting Evanorcia, in his words, waste the opportunity to rule over them, to control them, and entertain themselves in their sorrow. He believed his wife, Evanora, was too kind-hearted to the pathetic mortals. Though so every time she visited Evanorcia, he would come along, watching the sickening peace fall across the land she was in, only for peace to vanish as soon as she would leave, falling back into un falling back into contention and disdain. While he loved his wife, he did not love her compassion for the mortals, and every time he came to Evanorcia, he had picked certain souls to die and serve him uh, and to serve underneath him creating a bloodlust army with inhumane powers. He held these soldiers in a plane he created, Ignazil. That was a terrifying sound. <laughs> Why are you making that sound? Why are you doing that? Creepy. I hope you know you're creepy. You're one year old and you're already creepy. <laughs> Alright then. <laughs> he held these soldiers in a plane he created, Ignazil, and planned a full-on attack on Evanorcia where he would watch it burn. The leader like God also viewed things differently than Evanora and Dresden. Phaelan, the goddess of protection and affinity, 
She wasn't powerful because of what she was the goddess over, but because she was the middle ground between Evanora and Dryston. Evanora only saw the good, and because peace followed her, she never saw the contentious or evil in Evanorcia or in her husband Dryston. Balin, however, saw the state of Evanorcia, the plan Dryston had, and its intentions, and confronted Evanora and Dryston of this. Evanora didn't believe Feolin, and attempted to berate her for her accusations of both her own doings in Evanorcia and her husband's. The attention of the other gods were caught, and listened to the two women argue. Feolin was level-headed, Evanorcia was anything but that. The other gods weren't blind. They knew what was happening. Most just didn't care. The others were just doing it to let it happen, let Evanora see it for herself. But Faelna knew what would happen and the result of it, and rather than let the balance fall, she intended to keep it. When Evanora wouldn't listen to reason, Faelna stated she would just do the same thing Dryston was doing, but instead of destroying all the planes in the process, she would protect, protect and keep the balance between them. Faelna's statement struck some of the other gods who followed Faelna in her stance and created a new plane called Nehemia. There were six that followed Faelin and gave up deityhood. There was Skender, the god of loyalty, Kalispo, the goddess of justice, Frey, the god of health and healing, Amrin, the god of fortitude, and Lorcan, the god of honesty. These seven left Maritha, making their new home in Nehemia. So, recap! Uh, and we're probably gonna stop there, because I know for a fact my notes do not go on much longer, uh, and... I'll make a separate video for Nehemia and Ignazil's whole background spiel, even though it's kind of given in uh, Morithia's uh, backstory of the plane. So, basically, we have these four deities, Evanora, oh no, Evanora, Arn, Matthias, I believe his name was, and there's another one, I didn't really pay attention, and Sloane. Uh, these deities don't really matter, uh, but they do- Okay. Sloane, Arn, and- Sloane, Arn, oh no. And Matthias don't really matter to the story hugely yet, uh, like at all <laughs> thus far in my creating of things. They're just there. Uh, it's like the- some of the deities that are mentioned in Skyrim, they don't really matter. They're just there for um, flavor. <laughs> like Mara and all of them. That's kind of the level. Matthias, uh, Arn, and... Uh, Matthias, Arn, and Sloan are in. Um, so, we have those threes. And then Evanora is actually a really big part of the story. It's just not really ever mentioned yet because of certain events that have to take place first uh, and all these things. So, we have this huge plane. Only four deities live there. Used to be 12, I believe that's what it was. Used to be 12 deities that lived there. Uh, Evanora is married to Dryston, who created a uh, another plane, which is Ignazil. Uh, behind Evanora's back, and because of Evanora's nature, she chose to ignore these, um, well, chose to ignore these claims of Ignazil and her husband's terrible intentions, which later resulted in a huge war between Ara, <laughs> which later resulted in in a huge war between Evanorcia, Mirithia, and Ignazil. Um, and Nehemia, technically, to an extent. Uh, but I'll get more into that in the next episode of this, where I go over Nehemia and Ignazil more in depth, which will also explain the war uh, to an extent, because the war is going to be its whole, own little note video, because it's a huge thing that resulted in why the story is being told. Um, anywho, uh, so Dryston tried to take over Evanorcia to watch it burn, 
and later wanted to watch the crumbling of Marithia, his um, first home. Uh, Phaelin and the other gods saw what Dreisden was doing. The other gods were either, eh, it's fine, let him do his own thing, and some knew what was going to happen, and just wanted to let Evanora see it, and make her realize that not everything is peace, love, and happiness. Life, love, peace, you know, make her really realize that she should probably take the live, love, laugh posters off of, <laughs> out of the kitchen and out of her room, because uh, she's married to a not-so-live, love man, but a uh, die, hate, and uh, laugh in the face of death. I don't know. Laugh in the face of good doing. <laughs> uh, and they were just going to let her realize that on her own. But Fionn realized, hey, no, no, no. If we let this happen, a lot of stuff's going to go down. And it's not going to be good for Evanorcia. And it certainly won't be good for Marithia or Ignaziel or any balance we want to keep. So she tried to confront, confront Evanora and uh, Dreisden. Didn't go too well. Uh, you'll notice a running pattern between Feolin and Evanorcia butting heads. Uh, they're not really good. <laughs> uh, because Evanora only sees the good, Feolin sees both, and Dreisden, Dreisden just really is an asshole. <laughs> um, uh, you'll r notice that. Uh, throughout the story and throughout the note taking, that uh, they really aren't uh, but friends. Uh, and Evanora's live, laugh, love does not does not uh, apply to Feolin, and she does not live, laugh, or love towards uh, Feolin. <laughs> um, Feolin was then like, fine, screw you, screw Marithia, I am going to Nehemia, I'm going to create a plane, and we're going to call it Nehemia, uh, and if anyone feels the need to join me, join me now, or forever hold your peace and stay here and watch, watch as all five planes burn, because honestly, I care less if that's what you really want, and there left uh, Feolin, and six others followed after her essentially giving up their deityhood to follow Feolin, who also gave up deityhood. Um, and that and a lot more things will be covered in the next episode of this series, um, where we'll go over Nehemia and Ignaziel and maybe part of the war. Um, I really want the war to be its own episode so it gets all the details and things of that nature in it. Um, and, yeah, so, there you go. Here is to the beginning of the Five Planes, and hopefully not the end of it. If you guys did enjoy this video, I would really appreciate it if you liked, comment, and maybe subscribe, so that you might get a notification next time I upload if you're interested in this story. Um, I do do other videos. I have a couple episodes of a Minecraft series I did with my brother. Um, I don't really have a lot of videos where I talk in it unless it's me saying I'm going to change the channel. <laughs> um, I, so, if you're interested in that, uh, I'm pretty sure I've put a few videos up in the corner for you to go watch. Um, music is in the description. I just used a random non-copyright, or maybe it is copyright. We'll find out eventually. Uh, thing in the description. Uh, you can also find my Instagram down there where you can find a lot more drawings because hopefully I'll be posting more because I've gotten a new style that I'm really liking. Uh, before this becomes a 40 minute long video, I'm gonna bounce. Uh, I hope you guys all have a good rest of your day and I will see you all later. Until then, I will be on my own adventuring. Have a good rest of your day, y'all. Bye.